You ever have a 3D printer meltdown? Well, I did. They call this the blob of death on bamboo printers, and it's when melted filament gets all up in your tool head. So I had to disassemble part of the tool head and replace the hot end. It was actually really easy to get a replacement. The nice thing about bamboo printers is that they're very modular. You can really take every part out and replace every part individually. So the hot end itself was not very expensive. Once I got the new piece, it really slotted right in. That was super easy. I had to pop a couple of screws back in. Everything lined up very nicely. Uh, I followed along with the step-by-step -step instructions on the Bamboo website. We're actually really good. And of course, you can get all these spare parts at Micro Center. Uh, the toughest part was routing the cables for both the cooling fan for the 3D print plate and the cable for the Honda end itself uh, back to the little channel and then reconnect the cables in the back. Running through the channel was a little tough. That was probably the toughest thing uh, next to realizing I needed some extra light because my overhead light was just not strong enough and I just can't see anything anymore. So I always need some extra light. I use my little gooseneck uh, neck light for that. And then I also treated myself at the same time to a new nozzle, because why not? This is a four millimeter stainless steel nozzle. I also got myself at the same time a two millimeter stainless steel and a four millimeter hardened steel because I want to try to print with some different filaments. But for this, I just put the standard four millimeter stainless steel nozzle in because I wanted to first make sure everything was up and running properly. Uh, once I had that clipped in, I just had to reattach the faceplate onto the tool head. And then at the same time, I also treated myself to one of these uh, new printing plates. This is that cool tech. I forget exactly what they call it. Uh, it's got a smooth surface as opposed to the textured surface on the default plate. And it supposedly runs at cooler temperatures and is better for adhesion. On the one test print I've done so far, it was actually great. Uh, everything stuck really well. Then I had to get my filament rounded back through the AMS light, which I have in a top mounted 3D printed bracket because, you know, I live in a New York City apartment and I don't have a ton of room. And this top mounted bracket has actually worked out great and makes the whole bamboo A1 setup much more compact. And there I am doing a little test print. Naturally, it's a Benchy. You know that. And after a little bit of troubleshooting, I solved my blob of death problem. The bamboo A1 is up and running again.